There's one thing I love about the Isle Legacy, the extreme punishing feeling. Sometimes your fate is sealed way too early, and other times, you can have an extremely long and healthy run. And today I played a Giganotosaurus and it was a healthy life. But long before we can become a fully grown apex walking the plains of the Isle, first we must take those initial steps. So after spawning into the world, making my way inland, seeking out food, water and shelter, I would now embark on a journey with only one goal in mind, to defeat all odds and to thrive. After the juvenile stage of life, I was ready to grow into a sub-adult. Let's eat. Oh damn, I forgot sub gig is pretty slow at drinking. I was slowly building up my confidence and starting to traverse the map. I heard some AI in the distance and at half hunger there was no reason not to fill up my stomach. But to my surprise, I was not the only one out here. A sub-adult Rex was on the hunt. And with camouflage and the element of surprise on my side, I wasted no time. A ferocious battle between two young apexes would now take place in the shadows of the forest. Get him bleeding. And momentarily in the middle of the fight, I got pinned up against the side of a tree. I broke free of it just in time. I need that blade to work. It was time to back up a bit and let the blade do the work. Just get him bleeding. He's got a lot more by force than me, so I gotta be careful. I kept him on his toes and slowly bled him down. Let him bleed. After trading a couple of more hits, the bleed would be stacking immensely. Even bleeding. Now on third screen, things were getting critical. If I exchanged too many bites of this Rex, it could prove to become fatal. Gonna bleed out. At last, the Rex had no more energy to fight. He'd bled out behind a tree and died. Nice, he bled out. 82% growth. It proved to be a successful hunt, but only just. Yeah, that was way too close. For the Rex put up a marvelous fight. It looks like he's roughly the same growth as me. Sort of 80, 85%. He's definitely not a full grown sub. Not like 95 plus percent. Otherwise, he would have towered over me. I gotta get your water. This body's gonna be a bit, so. I'll, I'll be straight back for it. I made my way down to the swamp to stay hydrated and used the footprints to eventually find my way back to the body. This body's gonna disappear any minute now. There we go. I knew it. Alright, let's get as far away from that as possible. Time to move on because I still got a long way to go before I'm even adult. There was too much activity moving into the local location, so with a full stomach, it was time to move on. I made my way into the mountains, a place I'm very familiar with, and it's there I'd stay hidden under the pine trees, growing all the way up until the point where my stomach had almost fully drained. But lucky for me, there was another sub adult Giga in the area. Let's see where he goes, what he does. He's going for that little suko. Mm. 
He's killing our baby in the water. I was contemplating whether to hunt this giga or not, considering he's the same species as me, but with my hunger low enough. And when he killed a baby Suko in the water, my conscience would become perfectly clear. He sealed the deal. <laughs> He's gonna be out of stamina. He's gonna try and murder that little baby for sure. Come out of the water. I prefer to be able to eat you. That's it. Come out of the water so I can eat you. He was the same growth as me, roughly. He should have just like. Tried to fight. I now had a body that I could sit next to safely. With 97% growth, I was almost ready to grow into the adult phase. You were, you were killing a baby in the water, if you know what I mean. Now, to be honest, I was almost not going to put this Giga in the video, but he is a part of my story. You're equally as big as me, and I'm almost an adult. He was getting extremely aggressive in the global chat, so I turned it off. Give it another crack, my friend. Look, man, if you're watching my video, I understand. People get upset. Let's face the facts. You did kill a baby Sukumonis in the water where you couldn't even eat him. So, you know. There is that. I spent the rest of the day next to the body and as I continued to slowly eat from it. Eventually it disappeared and I made my way back up the mountain to continue growing. We must be ready and we're ready. Nice. Cool. I played it extremely safe, only coming down to the lake to drink. The next day I was much bigger, at 92% growth, and feeling confident. But then a Ceratosaurus came out of nowhere. Alright buddy. The perfect size meal, so long as I can catch it. He's gonna bleed out and die. I caught him with his guard down and landed a bite. There was no hope for him. Oh yeah, he's dead. Life is a cold world and it took me no time to consume his entire body. Oh jeez, I ate the whole body. I mean, I'm getting bigger I guess, 93%. Wait, this night out under a pine tree somewhere I reckon. The next day, only a couple of hills away, I watched the sun rise. I was ganking the waterhole when Akana rocked up. Wonder how much stamina this kano has got. I never did catch him, but he did lead me back to the last small lake that I was living at. Only now a group's mixed packing species had moved in and now occupied the location. That Suka Minus is looking pretty good. The Aloe's looking pretty good. Not sure which one I want. From where I was sitting, this looked like a free buffet with all that you could eat. I'm fully grown now, I guess. Yes. Somebody's gonna get eaten. Something seemed off. It seemed way too easy, and that's when I decided I'll give him a three call. I continued to three call them, and that's when the Suko stood up, and he three called back. This one was a fighter. But this was no fight that he could win. But he had a big heart, because he sacrificed himself so nobody else would have to die. <laughs> GG Suko. That was unexpected for him to try to fight me, especially like... But before the Suko Mimus met her fatal ending, it would appear that she had a child and I would refuse to take it on board. Move along little buddy. Like its mother before it, it was a fighter. 
no mix packing around me. <laughs> Would you guys like to continue this? <laughs> Surely, surely that's going to be it. There we go. With both the bodies fully consumed, my stomach full, I would now make my way towards the Great Dam. And that's when I was tracking the sound of a herbivore herd. Wouldn't that be interesting? A pond up here with just a little island right in the middle of it. Sneak my way in and... I made my way towards where the sounds were coming from, but they must have moved on, further upstream. I remember this spot. Had a fight off a couple of subrexes right here. Yeah, this is that spot alright. Hello trike, hello para. Eventually I found them, I tracked the herd down. Maybe I should wait till the cover of darkness. Ambush them. A small but strong herd, and I'd have to wait for the perfect timing. I kept my eyes on a trike, the main prize. He's wandering a bit. Got himself a big nest. Oh, I can land bleed on both of them. Still break the legs. Didn't want to kill a para, not on the nest. Try to get this trike moving a bit. At this point in time, I was just sussing everything out. The para seemed quiet. I needed to make sure there wasn't a body down. It was bleeding, sitting down, but still alive. I could have easily killed him, but he was not my goal on the trike. So there was a trike, a para, and a dibble. Now I knew all the pieces that was on the board. I might just try Z-turn on the trike. The standard giga fight is to get in, land your bites, get out, and bleed your opponent to death. But today would not be that kind of fight. I decided to play by the King's Gambit, a move based on sacrifice. If player B does not know how to counter player A, then he can be taken down quick and precise in the early stages of the game. The para means nothing to me. I can sacrifice and tank his hits all day. The trike did a brake check and landed a well-placed stomp. But this is no time to back down. Now we apply the sweat. Get out of it, para. Cool. I got him. It was time to sit down and rest because it would take a considerable amount of time to recover. That got a little tricky with uh, all the extras. <laughs> but we got him. I didn't want to kill the power either. Oh. For a second there. I actually thought he was going to. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely rules against it, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't have cared that much. <laughs> I've had a pretty long life now on this Giga. Ooh, I've almost eaten it all. I should probably save some. Yeah, try save some. Oh, oh. There it goes. Well, I definitely don't need to eat, so it's time to go find somewhere good to... Heal up under a tree, under a pine tree somewhere up, somewhere safe. And that is exactly what I did. A few days later I was roaming, not a care in the world. But when I heard the sound of an Allosaurus talking in general chat, it was like magic to my ears. There's an aloe around here somewhere. 
Where are we at, Tizzy? Hello, hello, hello. He's dead. The awareness of a solo player is that which makes him a better survivalist. And that's why being in a group will quite often get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's so dead. See, when the kill comes this easy, it's not even worth eating. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit down. Life is hard. It'll leave you physically, mentally, and emotionally scarred. <laughs> I'm gonna let him live. I continued forward with my journey. <laughs> and just remember, ladies and gentlemen, what goes around comes around. Doesn't get more gangster than that. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta let some people live. Don't ask me why I had mercy for him. I made my way back towards the Great Dam, but I'll start in the starve. Ironic. Wouldn't it be if I died to starvation? It's been so long I can't remember the last time I'd starved to death. On a serious note though, where is the AI? I was starting to get butterflies, the feeling that maybe this is where the story would come to an end. <gasps> There's a sub truck up there. But like a gift sent directly from the heavens. Lord forgive me for I've never felt so guilty but happy at the same time. Sorry about this one. I'm way too hungry mate, way too hungry. I was literally on the edge of starving. It's unfortunate that a pair of Myasaura had to bear witness to the bloodthirsty event. Sorry about your friend, gentlemen. I don't know if he was with you or not, but he's no longer with anybody. I had one final drink from the Great Dam and then it was time to move on. Days later I found a giant family of Sukumimus. A family of Sukos out there? I might be able to creep up on them. Just maybe. I crossed the river using both the weather and terrain to my advantage. Wouldn't that be perfect? I look like a lot of them. Here we go. For those who didn't star burst out of there, the rest were trapped and stacked and ultimately would pay the price. Cool. I needed that badly too. So that was a perfect timing. Unfortunately there's two of them dead, but you can have one. That's it. GG Sukos, GG. Might be able to eat a whole body. There's a lot of meat on Sukos though. GG gentlemen. I left them to grieve in peace at the loss of one of their own. Might even travel up to the Great Falls now. I don't need to hunt nothing. Not yet anyway, because, you know, they have a full stomach. But that doesn't mean I can't plan my next area. So I'm heading up here to the Great Falls. I'm gonna scope it out, see what the activity's like. I made my way all the way to the Great Falls, but there was nothing there. I spent the night, and then the next day I made my way downstream. And that's when I spotted a fully grown Allosaurus all by himself. This would have been the perfect opportunity to find out if a Giga can actually trot one down in a marathon. But of course, every time I make plans, something out of the ordinary would happen. This Allosaurus had no interest in my marathon. This aloe had some crazy skill. He has some crazy skill. 
to even ride me for that long. Perhaps one of the most skilled aloes I'd ever come up against. But at the end of the day, it was just another meal. I indulged into the body, still bleeding. And when I took that last mouthful and there was nothing left, I walked away into the wet, cold rainforest, sat down and began the healing process. And this is the end to another epic tale. I hope you, my friends, enjoyed the story. This is your boy Al, signing out.